hello fam welcome back so i know most of us have seen the results um of the presidential election 2023 presidential election and for antinibu has been announced the winner of presidential election of 2023 and some of us have some of us are disappointed because we know what went on that day what went wrong on that day how most the, how most of the machines most of i like uh beavers machines was faulty we saw a lot of videos of coppers of um i neck officials trying to manipulate the results of uh, p2b even wiki with nemson wiki of river state has come out to publicly admit on channels tv that the election was rigged in the favor of apc this is how um terrible these our politicians are nigeria is at blink of collapse like nothing is working in that country anymore the economy is not working like there's insecurity there's a lot of things many people have lost hope in that country but this man p2b came and gave everybody hope and they were like okay we should come out in our millions to vote and nigerians voted hoping to see a change in our electoral bodies but what did these people do what did INEC do what they did was to rig the election in the favor of um apc apc are so desperate to remain in power it's not like this party are doing even if, if you ask me i will say that over the years that pdp has has been ruling the country even though they are not doing much but to compare with this APC government, I will go for PDP, like when I don't have alternative. This APC government have rendered a lot of people helpless, some are dead, like a lot of business have crashed because of these people. Like they know they don't have the leadership capacity, but they just want to be in power. And the problem here is not that um, they want to remain in power, but they keep on bringing candidates that they know themselves that is incapable of ruling the nation that is incapable of taking the nation to anywhere take for instance this at a uh, uh, tinibu of a of a man everybody knows that he is health wise he's not okay he cannot rule that country at least not now that nigeria is at blink of collapse so p2b was the man that a lot of nigerians uh nigerian youth hoped uh, to be the president but what did i next do they rigged him out even though the results are showing that this man who won, uh, won the election if this election was to be a free and fair election trust me this man the winning gap between labor party and other party would be very far like the distance would be so wide that i can't even compare it with the actual results is showing that p2b is winning don't worry i'm going to be attaching the original results from different polling units from, uh, from different states on this video it showed that p2b is winning with a very high margin a man that a lot of people said that can win in his own state that is anambra he won in anambra he won in Tinibu owned claimed state he won in fct so if this election was to be free and fair, it would not be here talking about going to court or not going to court. And sometimes I wonder, I, 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 I keep asking myself, what if P.W. was not an Imo man? What if he was from another tribe? Probably we will not be here dragging this case to court. Just imagine the, 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 the impetus of APC saying that the election was free and fair, blah, blah, blah. That if you feel like the election wasn't free and fair, that we should go to court. Meaning that they've already made plans ahead. They, they know themselves that the election was rigged in their favor. Okay, fine. Nigerians are saying, okay, why not you cancel the election so we can run the election and it's going to be on a free and fair. I know there's no like free and fair election in Nigeria, but these people are insisting that the election will not be cancelled that they're going to go with the main result because they know if the election should be cancelled if the election should be um rerun again they're not going to win nobody is going to see nigeria's condition in this current mess that we are in and vote for apc again when uh, buhari came when buhari was campaigning in 20 2015 he gave nigeria hope he was there castigating jonathan we didn't know what was coming and this man was just there playing game with nigerians he came with the um before the election he came saying that he was going to change the old no uh, the uh, uh, 
uh, the old note which is going to prevent vote buying yes the vote buying was prevented to some extent but the worst happened you they rigged the election in the favor of apc and a lot of people are still finding it difficult. Even me here, seated here, I'm still finding it difficult that APC won, Tinibu won. Tinibu didn't win. He knows very well he didn't win. The election was, he even said it during his campaign that he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that he wins. And he has done it. But I'm believing that since the case has been taken to court, that Opitobi is going to come out victoriously because he's out. He's the only hope that for me personally, he's my only hope. But I I, I don't know what Tinubu is going to be doing on seat. He's he's unfit to rule that country. So there's um some tweets from a lot of people who are expressing their um their fear, who are sharing their thoughts on this election. And this is one from Financial Times, and it was posted. It was tweeted by Senator. Do you know he said um it says nigeria's badly flawed election even the international bodies even the international committee know that the election was not free and fair they know that the election was rigged you can see a lot of people running health and skeleton on that very day because some people were even were not even allowed to vote some people's vote uh, votes were burned some people didn't even get their voters card so this is how desperate this uh this APC gov uh, government is. Okay, you can imagine that a lot of people that came out on that Labour Party, a lot of House of uh, Representatives, uh, Senate, um, a lot of people that came out for those positions, they won. Even this is to tell you that this P2B's government is going to like it's going to be like how do i even put it like a son of nobody will become somebody without knowing anybody because i heard of an okada rider i don't know which state in particular that came out for house of rep in his state and he won an okada rider i can imagine an okada rider i'm very sure before now he may find it difficult to feed his family but he bought it so the guy who won uh, the election so this is to tell you that P2B, P2B is like, in, uh, as of now, is like a Messiah to a lot of Nigerian youth because we are hoping, we, we like we put all our hope in him. It's literally, we, can, we cannot keep running away from our country. Where are we going to run to? Even the countries we are going, as most of us want to travel to, soon they will start shutting their doors at us and we will not be able to enter those countries. So the best thing is for us to just... I just want to keep my faith high. I just want to keep my hope high, believing that P2B is going to come out victoriously. And this tweet is from Niger. This is coming from United States Ambassador to Nigeria. It says that the presidential polls of February 20, uh, 25th have failed to meet the expectations of Nigeria. This is fact. This is fat and there are a lot of money if even if if you check the this thing the election re, uh, results most of them have a lot of uh, most of them have been mutilated a lot of manipulations a lot of counseling a lot of uh correcting like god in river state i heard that what they did was they swap labor parties um results with that of apc you can imagine how bad and wicked this our politicians are and wiki is not even denying the facts wiki is not denying he came out like i said he came out on channels television to say that yes yeah, that the election was rigged in the favor of apc what do these people stand to get seeing nigeria in this mess because they feel like oh they've got everything they've done this they have their the police on their side they have the armies on their side therefore they can do everything they can do anything they want to do and get away with it without anybody you know in nigeria nobody's being held accountable for what they do you just they just do things and get away with it so this like you guys have been so I've been feeling so bad. Okay, this results, this results is showing that if this election was actually done, on, was actually free and fair election, that there's 
possibility of PW winning with a very high margin. Like these two other parties will not even see this bad. But unfortunately, we live in a country where I don't know what our problem is in that country. I don't know. I think it was supposed to be a mutual body, but now it seems like it's taking sides in uh with APC. Okay, um last time after the election, um APC said if the other party, if the uh, opposition party are not okay with the election results, that they should come to court. The case was taken to the court, and court granted Peter B D uh, permission to go through an um, INEC electoral election materials, and which, as of making this video, INEC has not allowed Labour Party legal and technical team to go through those uh, materials that it was used to conduct election. What are they trying to hide? If the election was free and fair, you obviously give them access to those data. They will go through it and uh, check whatever they want to check and you consume it what you want. Why are they so um, so quick to conduct a governorship election whereby the presidential election that they've conducted has not been resolved? A lot of people are not taking the results. And now, I don't even know what they're up to, but I'm hoping that they will allow Labour Party to conduct their own distinct, to, to go through those election materials. At, at least it will enable them, even if Labour Party didn't win, at least, don't we? At least they will know, yes, that they've gone through those materials and they found out that they didn't win. Why, why depriving them? Why restricting them? Even when the court has given the order for them to go through those things, and now uh, INEC has also gone to the court to take permission to uh, configure the Bivas machine, which a lot of Nigerians are raising. Um, are afraid that if they configure the machine, that there's possibility that they are going to delete most of the data, or most of the data might be lost during the process, and which may likely affect the Labour Party's um, evidence against Nibu at the court. But a lot of Nigerians have also sh uh, shared their thought that even if INEC configures the machine, the BIFAS machines, that it's not going to affect the data, right? That data, and uh, even INEC to themselves have said that it's not going to affect the data, that everything would be intact. But if everything, will, what is the guarantee that everything will be that? How how you try? How how do you want to convince Nigerians that everything is going to be intact when a lot of money was invested, a lot of time, four years for you to conduct this election, only for you to come out to say that the uh, Beavers machine failed on the election day? How do you expect Nigerians? How do you expect us to trust you again? INEC was supposed to be a mutual body without taking side of any with any other party. It's supposed to be a body that it's on its own, doesn't have belong to any party. But it seems like I, a, APC have bought these people over. APC have the money, they have the finance, they have the people in power to do whatever thing. You can see what happened with the Naira, whatever. Now they're saying that, okay, now Nigerians cannot use the old Naira because the election was over. Because they thought that maybe if they, they the old Naira should continue to be in circulation, that there's chances that a lot of parties are going to involve in vote buying. And all these things are just, you guys, it just pissing me off. Like, sometimes I feel like we black at our own problem. It's not a matter of, this time around, it's no longer a white person um, mistreating us or treating us this way. It's our own brothers, our own sisters that is treating us this way and this feels so bad to be getting this kind of awful treatment from your own brother okay let me know what you guys think about the results because i'm going to be um attaching those results alongside with this video let me know what you guys think let me also know if p2b is going to come out victorious uh, victoriously um after the whole court case has ended for me i'm believing that it's going to come out victoriously and that is just my prayer and that is just my only hope of that country because with Sinibu is no no for me like if it was a younger person i don't know but Sinibu is old 
like he's mentally unfit he's physically unfit you can see a lot of videos where he was doing campaign during the campaign uh, season you can see how people are trying to support him because he's mentally unstable he's physically unstable but i don't know why he's so desperate to run for the office of president but regardless let me know your thoughts on the election let me know your thoughts on the uh, K, uh course uh, sorry court case and uh if there's anything you want to check in, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next vlog.